Job did not sin with his lips. When we think of someone who endured severe trials, we often think of Job. What can we learn from the experiences of that faithful man? Satan next attacked Job's health and robbed him of his dignity. Finally, his wife said to him, Are you still holding firmly to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, You are talking like one of the senseless women. Should we accept only what is good from the true God? and not accept also what is bad? In all of this, Job did not sin with his lips. Satan wanted Job to believe that he was suffering because he had lost Jehovah's approval. For instance, Satan used a strong wind to bring down the house where all ten of Job's children had been enjoying a meal together. He also caused fire to fall from heaven and destroy not only Job's flocks, but also the servants who were caring for them. The wind and fire obviously came from a supernatural source. Hence, Job concluded that Jehovah God must have been that source. And as a result, Job believed that he had somehow upset Jehovah. Even so, Job refused to curse his Heavenly Father. Job acknowledged that over the years he had received many good things from Jehovah. He therefore reasoned that if he was happy to accept the good, he should also be willing to accept the bad. So he said, Let the name of Jehovah continue to be praised. Job 1, 20 and 21 What does the account about Job teach us? The account about Job teaches us that Satan cannot force us to abandon Jehovah and that Jehovah is aware of every situation. Job's experience can also help us to have a better understanding of the issues involved. 